I have this old metal chair, this folding chair. Pretty rusty. I'm gonna get a coat of paint, uh, paint and primer on that so it can be dry while I'm doing the gun holders. All right, we got a coat of primer and paint on that. Well, all my batteries are dead on the drills. So I have to do that, come back and do this another time. Fuck. <sighs> all right, welcome back. We tried this yesterday. I was gonna try to finish the table and all three of my batteries for my cordless drill are dead. So I went home, charged everything up. Man, it's a gorgeous day. Yesterday was pretty windy. Today it's calm as could be. I guess it's the calm before the storm. Tomorrow we're supposed to get, well, starting tonight, uh, anywhere from four to eight inches of snow. We'll see if that happens. Southern Indiana, middle, late January. I'll take 48 degrees today. What we're gonna do, we're gonna face this up. I'm gonna put the case shield on it. I'll we'll go ahead and secure my chair, my rest, and my hooks, and I'll give you a run around of what everything looks like. All right, there's the two holes I drilled. Got two more up there. I'm just gonna knock off these little points. Got deer blood and guts on it from using this to cut through deer bone. Here's the sheet of plexiglass. I'm gonna mount it to here. It's gonna be my brass deflector. Found two L brackets in my basement. For some other project on something, I guess. what she looks like so far oh yeah it's pretty squared up i'm gonna go ahead and sink my other screws in the bracket very nice what we're gonna do under here is put a couple hooks to hang that chair all right i just on the underside of this put two hooks drilled in metal folding chair hangs right off of it just like that we'll put a hook on the opposite side this is where the strap's gonna hang there's my toe strap hanger. You may wonder what I'm doing with the hook underneath the table. Let me show you. But bam. There's my Caldwell tripod. But there it is, all one unit. Now let's see how this pulls. Here's the side by side. There's my strap. does leave some marks so it probably will take a little bit of turf if you have a real nice yard probably not the option for you out here at the freedom farm i think it's perfect snap in i'm gonna hook up bam just like that from 175 back to 50 and strap it i think it works pretty sweet everything's contained right there pull out the chair pull out the tripod all ready to go. And that shell deflector makes a pretty sweet attachment for a camera too, which is nice. It'll be right here when I'm shooting. One potential issue, this chair is pretty low. It's a pretty short chair. It's an easy fix, but I mean, this table's up to my, up to my chest. If the chair were a little higher, I could get down on the gun, maybe a little bit more. For sight in purposes, this may be better. I don't know, we'll check it out. As always, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out part two of this project. It's pretty much finished. I'm gonna put a, a coat of stain on this, and maybe tighten up those screws on the deflector shield. Other than that, we are done. It works pretty well. It does dig in a little bit, but I'm not concerned about that. I think it's a pretty damn sweet shooting table. Redneck DIY 5000. Like, subscribe, share. As always, be safe. Till next time.